everyone. Welcome to the first web edition of the Harry Martha Show. I'm Neil Thomas. Today, we're going to walk around the neighborhood and see if we can find anything to forage. We didn't have to go far. Here's a mulberry tree. Let's take a good look at the leaves. And some fruit. The season is pretty much over, but it's been so rainy that there's still quite a few up here that normally probably would have dried up and fallen off in a typical year. But let's keep going and see what else we can find. Uh, but first, here's a stink bug. Let's look at it. I don't think these apples are quite ripe yet because I don't see any drops, but I'm going to definitely keep an eye on this tree and I'm going to pay attention to where it's located for next year. This is a pretty good place to get pecans in the fall and winter. I've been keeping an eye on this spot for a few years and I do see some pecans. I don't know if you can see them in this picture, but it's way too early. It's nice to know that there's a few up there. It was an exceptionally good year last year, so who knows? Who knows what this one will be like? Maybe too wet. Anyway, I'm over on Rug Street. Haven't ventured far from home. There's a couple more pecan trees two blocks over on... Uh, Oak Street. Well, there's not very much going on in this field. It's mostly grass, but there is a little plant here that's worth noting because it tastes good. Let's see if I can get down to it. It's awfully sunny. I can't really see what's going on on this camera. This is penny pepper. It's uh, some sort of black mustard or wild mustard. And these little seed pods are spicy. They taste good. They have a little bite to them. Probably oxalic acid or something like that, but they're quite tasty. Well, I made it down to Hot Springs Creek, and I think I found a walnut tree. You can tell because it's got this leaf structure with the opposite leaves. That And way up there... I see, I think they're walnuts, black walnuts probably. Again, it's way too early for them. We'll have to come back and visit this spot. We'll just pay attention to where it's at. Farmer's market area, I guess. Okay, I found something that I am stumped on. It looked like some sort of olive shaped thing. It actually looks like a olive leaf cork, kinda. Don't know. Maybe somebody will tell me. Let's get a close up of the bark. Here's a little ripe one. I'm going to try it and see. To try another one and see. I don't know. Maybe if it were cooked. I have no idea what it is. I'd like to know what it is before I made a meal out of them. My mouth is not burning. Um, it didn't really taste astringent or nasty. Just uh, not quite like anything I've ever had. Here's a better shot of a 
walnut tree and these walnuts are within reach although it's just as good to pick them up off the ground pretty sure you have to wait till after the frost look how many there are though it's just loaded wouldn't want to camp under this tree starting to look to me like if I had to survive off of what's growing around this creek that I'd be pretty hungry unless I hunted an animal there's just not a lot of edible vegetation or, or not much that I know how to eat anyway um, I see a china berry and there's more mulberries down there it looked like they've been hacked down uh, some sort of maybe moon seed vine over there it's a grape look-alike uh, maybe it's a grape but I don't see any grapes there's a willow good for medicine but you can't really eat it eh. I don't know let's keep looking and here's some china berries doing their thing and over here there are some china berries from last year so even the birds maybe maybe they like them Rose of Sharon. Jackpot. Elderberries. I'm going to just put my bucket under there and sort of scoop them off. I'm going to kind of show the how easy it is to pick these things. You just kind of put it over the bucket and pull them off with your fingers. Just the ripe ones will come off. You really don't want the green ones. If you get too many green ones, you'll have to separate them. Look, they just come right off. Let's get some more of these. Let's get them before the birds do. So, Elderberries are a lot easier to identify earlier in the year when they're in bloom and they look like a gigantic Queen Anne's lace flower. Sort of a big flat, like if this thing were upside down or like that. And they're little tiny white flowers that just gradually turn to purple and when they're purple they're ripe. Now there are a few other kinds of elderberries in the area. One makes a bluish berry, which isn't edible, and I've seen some that are red. I don't know if they're ornamental or what, but this kind is delicious. So, take advantage of the free harvest. That is a lot of elderberries, so we're going to pick them. I'm still cleaning these elderberries. It's kind of a daunting task. There's lots of little stems in here. Uh, I don't think it would really hurt to cook them. I'm probably going to strain in whatever I cook out anyway to get rid of some of the seeds. But I, I have to mention that I said elderberries are edible and they are, but they have to be cooked. They have to be cooked. Elderberries contain a natural compound that when you start to digest it, it converts that compound into cyanide. And there's been lots of people made sick from eating underripe elderberries uh, and not cooking them in particular. So just cook them, boil them, uh, or something. Uh, I have put them on top of a pancake as you're cooking it and then flipped it. And even, even that much heat is enough to, to deactivate this compound. But with these elderberries, I'm going to put them in a pan with some sugar and I'm going to boil them into a syrup. And we're going to eat that over some corn cakes later on, which I think will be pretty tasty. Uh, another thing about elderberries, they're members of the Sambucus family. And 
Uh, the alcoholic drink, Sambuca, is not made from elderberries. That's made from, or flavored with anise seeds, which, if you like licorice, you'd love it, but if you don't, you probably wouldn't. So, I'm really excited about this. I haven't gone out and gotten any elderberries in a few years. I have picked the flower heads, dipped them in pancake batter, and fried them into fritters. Uh, learned about that from the Foxfire books, and they're awesome, delicious. really got a good boil going now and what I'm trying to do is I, I think the word is model I'm modeling the berries with this potato masher sort of rubbing the fruit the juicy part and skin off of the seeds and I'm going to continue to do this until when I look in there I can already see that the seeds are kind of floating around. So I'm going to keep doing it and then I'm going to strain it in a strainer. two cups or so of the elderberry juice that's a little bit thicker than an herbal tea because it's got the sugar in it. It's delicious. I'm just going to slowly cook it down and uh, decoct it, I guess, down into the consistency that I want, which is more like a syrup. So, success! Yay, elderberries! Woot woot, hot springs! Thanks for watching.